stand up for God. Jehovah Jireh, your power, power, your power, power for God. Chimo, wonder, wonder, wonder for God. Jehovah Nisi, your power, power, your power for God. This song hears to your voice. Demons flee at your name. Every tongue shall confess You are an awesome wonder Breaking chains, breaking yours Healing lives, mending hearts What a mighty God we serve The storm hears to your voice Demons flee at your name Every tongue shall confess Chains breaking yours, your healing lies your mending heart. What an awesome God we serve. That is why I call you wonder. You're watching god bless you good, good evening and god bless you thank you so much for joining us this particular wonderful great evening god bless you um <laughs> god bless you again and god bless you again and god bless you again i don't know where to start from i don't know what to say but if you're here i just want to thank god for giving us life and to be here tonight this is Bishop Kofi Adon Temboti. God bless you. We are very grateful and we thank God that God has given us life and we are here. God bless you.
Apostle William Naneji, servant of God. I bless you and I honor you. I salute you. God bless you. Servant of God, Apostle William Naneji. God bless you. Reverend Gloria Sapon, God bless you, my daughter. Jenny White. Joyce. Adai, God bless you. Joyce Aduma, baby. You mean? Madam, if you have words in United Kingdom, God bless you. Benisa Kianelli. Araba Emiso. Hey, tonight I just came here to tell somebody. Life can be as bad as you can imagine. Life can be as bad as you can imagine. As worst as you never hoped for. As bad as you never wished for. But I only came here to encourage and to tell somebody as bad as life can be. If your hope is in Christ, keep fighting. Never give up. Never give up because of circumstances you see. Never give up because of circumstances that are happening around you. Continue to faith. Continue to believe that as long as Jesus Christ is alive, a day, a time will come. What the Lord has said about you, they shall come to pass. A day, a time is coming where you shall no longer be called a slave. You shall no long be, longer be called a single woman. You shall no longer be called a nobody. You shall no longer be called poor. You shall no longer be called rejected. A day, a time is coming. So as long as Jesus lives, and I live, and you live, <laughs> and as long as the sun shines, and the moon is there, and the stars are brightening, and the wind is blowing oxygen for us, there is hope. For the nobody too. There is hope for the hopeless. There is hope for the hopeless. As low as life can take you, keep fighting. Never give up because of the works of the wicked against you. Never ever give up because of the works of the evil against you. Please, hope, faith in Jesus for tomorrow belongs to only God. Sandra Bill, God bless you. Eugenia Asare. Peter Jamina Maina. Fancy up here. Benedict Aoko. Nama Buachiwa Yadom. Please, can you share this video? Elijah Bonin God bless you, Pa. Grace up on my daughter. God bless you. Mama Lizzie, God bless you, Pa. First Lady Arama Adon Tembuatin, God bless you too. My name is Kofi Adon Tembuatin.
James and the boy, God bless you. Malinesa. Cynthia Mensa, God bless you. In case you are wondering, my name is Bishop Kofi Adon Temboateng. here tonight to encourage somebody that your circumstances might be as bad as possible. Don't give up. Don't give up, please. Maybe the letter you have in your hand is bad. Maybe the news you're receiving is bad. All the information you are getting is very bad. I only came here tonight to speak to you that as bad as the story is, keep on hoping. Keep on believing. Don't let your worst circumstance define what the Lord might do for you tomorrow. Mami Maria Norton, God bless you. Never ever allow your immediate circumstance and the life you're facing now ever define as to what the Lord might do for you. Put it up in my office. Uh, Daniel T. God bless you. If you are watching today, by the grace of God, I was invited to a very big television station to do a little interview. We don't have the video yet, but we're running some pictures. Please, watch some of the pictures. And as we told you not too long ago, very big and great things are about to happen. Not after we die, but as we live. What you're watching just happened today. Later on, you will see the interview. Godwin, Chinedu, Juliet, Godwin, God bless you. You'll be very blessed tonight for joining us. Can I indulge you? Please share the video and God bless you. Share the video and God bless you. If you're listening to me and the, 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 the language in the song you don't understand, all he's saying is, don't give up. Faith and continue to hope for God is in control. Favor Dixon, God bless you. Uh, Godwin Chinedu Juliet, God bless you again. Ebenezer Aqua, God bless you. Please, if you're watching, share the video and invite your family, your friends to join us. You'll be watching some pictures as the music is played. I was in a television station, a very big one in America here, and I was interviewed. Uh, it's yet to be broadcast. When it's out, we will share with you too. Frank Wayne, God bless you. Vanessa Jan, God bless you. Please share the video. God bless you.
Anyway, God bless you for watching. Yesterday, um, myself, Elijah born in UK and Grace, I was invited to a television station in America here. And um, I can't wait to see the interview. But very soon, everywhere you are in the world, get yourself together. We're bringing Christ to you by every means and by every ways. Uh, that Christ, our Jesus' name, will be glorified through our works. Today we were very blessed and invited to a very, very big television station in America here. And when the video is out, after the recording, you will see how good and how faithful our God is. My sister, Mami said, what could you? Thank God for your brother. God is good. At Azari, Vanessa Jan, Abena far from. Salute. Dezena. Salute. God bless you. And Abena far from. God bless you. Joyce, Chanel, Cosmos. Abranche Watchery, Scott. God bless you. Nice to see you. And God bless you. Pa. God bless you. Madam Charity Boso. Mama, God bless you. And Jul Juliana Asselenian. God bless you. Bishop. Benny Tudor, Bishop, God bless you. Uh, I'm waiting for my invitation to come to Africa Coast. Ruth Aruboku, God bless you. Kara Hansen, God bless you. And uh, so don't be surprised that very soon, if you're in America here, you'll be seeing um, us on TV anywhere, on CNN and everywhere, by the, by the grace of God. Reverend Gloria Sapon, God bless you. Reverend Belinda Brown, God bless you. We're just thankful unto God. All that I, all that I want to share with you if you're watching is that never ever allow your immediate circumstance. You might not be married and all your friends are getting married and you are worried. Trust God. You don't have children and all your friends have children. You are worried. Trust God. You might not have documents, papers and you are very disturbed. Trust God. You might be as poor as the mounds in the church. Please trust God. Have faith in God. Never give up on yourself because your current circumstance does not define and it does not tell the plans of God for your life. Grace Parker, God bless you. Your Olivia Inim, God bless you. Your immediate circumstance and your current problems you're facing doesn't tell what the Lord might do for you tomorrow. So please, if you're thinking about giving up, committing suicide, running away, just throwing the towel, just stopping. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Yeah, I, I understand the punches you might be receiving is hard. And nobody can understand your circumstances if they have never lived in your shoes. But as a believer, I just want to beg you tonight, please give God a chance and wait for him. Give God a chance and wait for him. For nobody knows, including your enemies. The people that are laughing and talking about your immediate circumstances, they don't know. I said they do not know. If only they know. That is what Jesus told them. If only they know. If only. So if anybody is happy of your sad, your bad, your your negative circumstances and their thinking and concluding and working to see how you will end. Get yourself ready. God is about to surprise your enemies. You know what? When you're not giving up and you are fighting on, when you're not giving up, when you're not throwing the towel, but you're fighting on despite all the difficulties, you know what you do? You confuse your enemies. I'm only encouraging you to continue to confuse your enemies. Just work hard and confuse your enemies. Work very, 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 very hard to confuse your enemies. Work very, very, very hard. As bad as the situation can be, work very hard because of your faith in Jesus, because of your hope in Christ. Let them say whatever they will say. Let them define. Let them explain. Let them subject. Let them talk. Let them mock. Let them laugh. Yeah. 
But you know what I want to encourage you tonight? Do not allow the immediate circumstance to define the plans of God for your life. It can be as bad, as sad, as worse as possible. Don't give up. Please, do not give up. Fight always to confuse your enemies. God bless you. Welcome once again to this edition. This Wednesday's edition of the Miracle Service. Do not give up. Work very, very, very hard. Paulina Sam. Ale Juliana Selenian. Margaret Mensa, God bless you. My daughter Grace Sapon, God bless you. What? Bishop Benny Tiodo, I salute you, servant of God. Hey, Grace Parker. Linda Amwakusu, the one and only Linda. Hey. God bless you. Can I tell you something? You shall not die, but you shall live to declare the goodness of God. Life is something that you can never understand. If you have hope, there is always a chance. A man who has no hope is somebody that is dead. The day you die is finished. But until we die, we will never stop fighting. Until we die, we will never stop struggling to be better. Why? Because you are a believer and you are a Christian. Look at what they did to Jesus. Loveless writer, God bless you. Just look at what they did to Jesus. At our army, Pastor Ubusu. Pastor Ubusu, God bless you. I love you, okay? Look at what they did to Jesus. Just to disgrace him. Just to dishonor him. I got the Ubusu, God bless you again. Just look at what they did to Jesus. Just because they were working that nobody would believe him and nobody will accept him. They disgraced Jesus so bad the day they crucified Jesus on the cross of Calvary. Jesus was naked. Mami Pinyi Menu. Princess Asha. Princess, welcome. God bless you. Lisa Kote, God bless you. Just look at what they did to Jesus. Comfort Queen, welcome to Please View. Join us. Share the video. Please, everybody that is watching, share the video. Share the video. Please, never allow your beginning, your bad circumstances, your troubles in life ever to define you because your tomorrow doesn't belong to you. Your tomorrow 
does not belong to me. Your tomorrow belongs to God. Life might be as worst as possible, but still don't give up. Fight on. That is don't go. God bless you. You might have failed and failed, mistake and mistake and wrong. People, might, you might have done good and good. People don't even appreciate. Please don't stop doing good. Don't stop trying. How many times have you failed? And are you giving up? You are a woman, you married. The man is not good. You marry again, the one is not good. Yeah. So you're giving up. Please don't give up. Don't give up. Cecilia and Pierre about you. Don't give up. Don't give up. Failure is to prepare you to be better. Don't give up. The devil is trying to make sure any enemy will come. The devil is trying to make sure you, you, you will finish a disappointment. The devil is trying to make sure you will finish a failure. They are working tediously, day and night, that you will end up disappointed. Abuadi wa Japan. They are working tediously for only one thing. To make sure that your end will just be a disappointment. Are you going to sit down and allow the devil to conclude that you finished disappointed? Look at what they did to Jesus. As a matter, not just what they did to Jesus. The way Jesus was even born was a mystery. Some people who hate Jesus claim that as a matter of fact, Jesus was not born by any spirit, but it was by a man. And the, 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 the begin, my beginning doesn't matter. Yo, stop talking about my beginning, right? Stop allowing people to talk about your beginning to define you. Get the seed or God bless you. Please share the video. If any devil, demon, witch, principality is trying to talk about your past and your beginning, that person is a devil and a liar. Some of us, our beginning is so bad, we can't even talk about it. But my beginning doesn't hold me to the place I stand today. Grace Max, God bless you. Your yesterday might be very bad. Your circumstances in your past might be very bad. But do not allow them to define you because your future is great. So a king like David, the beginning of David's life is very sad and bad. From a mother, people considered a prostitute. From a mother, a mommy said, Why, UK? God bless you. From, 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 from a mother, people considered a prostitute. Bad. But you know one thing? David was anointed to become a king of Israel. Whoever you are today, Whatever you are going through and where you are coming from doesn't matter. My concern is where the Lord will put you tomorrow. So please, you might have lost marriage, children, a house, education, places in life. Do not allow the failures you are struggling or going through today ever define you. Because your tomorrow doesn't belong to you. Your tomorrow belongs to God. We've all made mistakes in life. We've all done things we wish we never did. We did. We, I, wish, I wish I never did this. Emmanuel Kote, God bless you. We all have made decisions we wish we never made them. But you know what? This is life. That is just life. Don't allow the mistakes of your past to define you tomorrow. Push on. Fight as hard as you can. To be a better person. Teresa Mensa, God bless you. Fight as hard as you can to, make, to be a better person. Never allow your mistakes to define your future. Your mistakes will define your future if you don't learn or gather any wisdom from it. Don't allow the failures of your past to define you. Job 14 verse 7. Grace, what is the Bible saying? Job 14 verse 7. Yes. At least there is hope for a tree. At least. Listen to this very carefully. 
at least, listen to this, and I'm talking to myself and I'm talking to you. At least, there is hope for me. Why? I'm alive. Why? You are alive. If the devil is feeling, thinking, they are working to bring you down and to destroy you. You know what? Because you have life, always know, at least, there is hope. Your business is gone. Your money is gone. Your glory is gone. Your marriage is broken up. Your children are gone. All your stuff is gone. At least, there is hope. I'm talking to you. I'm speaking not to you, but into you. That at least, because you have life, there is hope. Esther Pure! Hallelujah! Juanita, God bless you. Anabu Ajay. Rebecca Akon. Give me a All I'm trying to encourage you to do tonight is to pick up the pieces. Pick up the pieces and don't give up. Pick up the pieces and don't give up. The fact that the fact that you are in the ring, in the boxing ring, and you are being beaten doesn't mean that there is no second round, there is no third round. For every game you play in life, there is always a first half and a second half. Nana ama buachi wa ya dom. Nana ma, God bless you. Kwami atajima, God bless you. Vaida akwan, God bless you. Marisa Striggles, God bless you. Please, if you're watching, share the video. And when you share, tell the person, at least, at least, there is hope. Every game, every game of life, it always has a first half and a second half. For every game you play in life, always remember there is a first half. So if the enemy is thinking that they have won the first half, so it's finished. No, 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 devil, no devil. It is only the first half. But it is only the weak. The bear that says, I lost the first half and I'm giving up. Don't give up. Yeah, I understand you made some mistakes. Don't give up. Make it better. Please, don't give up. You married. You did everything for the man. You did all you can for the woman. It is not enough. She disgraced you and insulted you. Trashed you. He disgraced you and insulted you and made you feel bad. Please, don't give up. Clean yourself. Pick up the pieces and continue to b the battle. Until it's over. It is not over. Kabuki Tete. God bless you. Failure in life, I repeat, is inevitable. Everybody can fail. Everybody can fall. But you know what I want to tell you tonight? Frida Fodjo. God bless you, Freda. Don't give up. Do not give up. Do not give up. And do not allow the stories they are sharing and the bad things they are saying and the worst things they are talking about ever define who God wants you to be. Today I was, on a, I, I was invited to a very big television station in America here. While I was sitting there, I realized that my young daughter here, Grace, if, if anybody had told somebody 10 years ago that this man you call a fool, a useless man, one day, someday, a time is coming when God, not man, will place me here. All my enemies would have laughed and chuckled. Because to them, I was good for nothing. Hey, 
You are not good for nothing. Because you are poor today. Because you are single today. Because you are struggling today. Because you have nothing today. You are permitting anybody to define you. Don't let any demon, any witch, any principality define you because of, of your circumstances. Christabel from Paul. God bless you. Manga. Koroma. God bless you. Do not allow any witch, any devil, any demon, any hater to ever define you with your immediate circumstances. Your immediate circumstances, God is only using them to prepare you for a greater tomorrow. I understand you were single, you want to marry. I do understand that you are old and you want to marry. I understand you don't have a job. And all the negative things I do understand. But you know what? If anybody has said to Hannah's rival that yo, stop laughing at Hannah and this woman you are laughing at tomorrow by this time, Hannah will also bear a son and call him Samuel. The woman would have laughed and chuckled because for a long time, Hannah was trying to be pregnant and she has never been pregnant. Don't, 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 don't allow what you're going through today, what you're passing through today, what you're facing today to define what the Lord might do for you tomorrow. The, the, the Bible says in Job 14 verse 7. Can you read that again, my daughter? Job 14 verse 7. At least there is hope for a tree. If it is cut down, it will sprout again. If you cut a tree down, even a tree, listen to me very careful. Even a tree, yo, and your, your marriage is broken up and you're thinking, and you lost a job and you're going to commit suicide. And, and you've done all you can and a woman disappointed you. And yo, he said, at least, at least people can be evil. People can be wicked. People can be bad. People can be bad. But as bad as they can be, Position your mind. Prep your heart. And understand that as human beings, sometimes in life, the worst things that you never expect can happen to you. The worst thing that you never believe might happen to you. It's part of life. Life, the day we say life is perfect is the day we die. But until we die, Life is full of imperfections. But whether perfect or not, position your mind that when you fall, you will not give up to your falling, but you shall arise again. Mary Akia is human. God bless you. Cindy Awa, God bless you. Victoria Brown, God bless you. Raphael Fast, God bless you too. Don't give up. Don't give up. Sometimes, if you have to pay attention to your enemies, you will be distracted far from your calling. Ma'am, if, if you have to get closer by crawling on your knees, make an effort. My Mephi is up. God bless you. If you have to walk, don't wait for the train. Walk. If you have to go hungry, don't stay in the room and cry. Keep moving. Your miracle is not where you are standing. Your breakthrough is not where you are sitting and crying. As the Bible said in Job 14 verse 7, it says at least, at least, at least means that after all is said and done, after all is tried and failed, after all is tried and failed, David said, I lift up my eyes to the mountains. From where cometh my help? That is when the help of man has failed. 
That is when the help of man has failed. That is why you have trusted and you are disappointed. He said, I lift up my head towards the mountains. From where cometh my help? Then he concluded, my help cometh from the Lord, the maker of the heavens and the earth. Shake yourself. Lift up your head. The battle is not over. The battle for your life is not over. What you're facing and what you're going through is only, is only a first half. But always remember, for every game, there's a first half and there's a second half. Always remember every game, there's a first half and there's a second half. Always remember every game, there is a first half and there is a second half. They might be talking. They've seen all your failures. They know all your troubles. They know all the bad things about you. And they are talking about it. They are even laughing. Sometimes your own sisters, people you call your best friends. People you share your pain and your circumstances with. But hey, yo, 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 what they know now, what they are talking about now is only the first half. But always remember one thing. There is always a first half and there is a second half. So if the first half belongs to your enemy, praise the Lord for them. But remember, there is a second half. Always remember that is a second half. Linda Pelu, welcome. God bless you. Please don't give up. Please don't throw in the towel. You have tried and tried and tried. It looks like you have failed. You can look at yourself and tell yourself, I, I think I failed. I failed. The day David went before Goliath to fight him, something very sad happened. Aramaka Harris, God bless you. The day David went before Goliath to fight Goliath, oh my God. Every negative thing Goliath knows about David, Goliath said it. You good for nothing. Uneducated. Look at you. Your father even don't like you. Look at you. You don't even know your own mother. Your mother don't like you. Look at you. You're always a shepherd. So, if David had listened to Goliath, David would have failed. Sometimes, at some point, you must close your ears from your enemies. But work very, very, very hard that always you will confuse your enemies. Always please work very hard to confuse your enemies. Some, there is 99% there is chances I want to tell you something. Don't waste your time to explain and to justify yourself to people who hate you. Richard Obobi, my son, God bless you. Can I tell you something? Don't waste your time to explain and to justify yourself to people who hate you. People who hate you, mama, even when you dance, and you dance the best, they will say your legs are crooked. People who hate you, when you give them food, they will say you are trying to poison them. If anybody hates you, no matter how you are a blessing to them, they will find the worst thing possible to say negatively about you. It's a sign of hatred. It's a sign of bad hatred. When people hate you, they will never be pleased at anything else you do for them. Give them food. They will say you poison them. Give them money. They will say you are an occult. You are trying to get money from their hands. That is just normal. So, please, stop trying to justify your life. Stop trying to explain yourself. They will talk. No matter what you do, they will talk. No matter what you do, they will hate you. But you know what I, want, what I want to encourage you to do? Please work hard to always confuse your enemies. 
Certain people must begin to block you from their Facebook because the way you are doing, you are confusing them. I know people who have blocked me from their Facebook. They don't want to see my images on Facebook because I'm confusing them. I know people. <laughs> I know them very well. They are still my friends on Facebook, but I don't see them. And they don't get my pictures. Why? Because I'm confusing them. As much as they are working to bring me down, they see me going up. Whether I'm going up, whether I'm in a green room, and they have changed the background, they are just confused. So the only, the only way they can sleep comfortably is to block me on Facebook. You got to confuse them. You got to confuse them. Or say John Kofi, confuse your enemies. I must say, there, there is a word in English called perplex. Perplex. Perplex is when the mind is not able to phantom. The mind is not able to, 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 to make up or to understand. You said, I'm perplex. You got to perplex your enemies. Perplex them. But don't try to explain yourself to them. When they hate you, no matter what you say, they will never ever understand you. Nanamponza, Mama, welcome. Please, stop trying to explain yourself to your enemies. When they hate you, Mama, if you're handsome, they'll say, it's, oh, it's not a, it's this ugly woman. Oh, this woman, don't you know her? We're wasting your time with this woman. Mama, the fact that your beginning is bad, Papa, the fact that your beginning, yes, I understand your mother is illiterate. My mother was an illiterate too. I understand you didn't grow up from a mansion. You grew up from Shane school in the afternoon. Yeah, I've been there too. All of it, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? The beginning really doesn't matter. What matters is where tomorrow by this time, God will put you. So, the people who are talking about your beginning. You know, this grace, this Nikwe, I know Nikwe in Bubuashi. Nikwe used to push trucks, trucks. Yeah, but today Nikwe, he doesn't push trucks. Today I was with Nikwe in a bigger, one of the biggest television stations in America. Nikwe was the one directing the white people as to what to do in the studio. This small sign shows that don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Do not Give up. Don't give up. They are calling you illiterate. And you are also accepting yourself to be. They are saying I'm ugly. Beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. Yeah. I might be very ugly for you. But that woman that is watching. The, oh my God. Oh this bishop. That's what I'm talking about. So you know what. I might be ugly for him. Or her because she hates me. She can't stand me. But you know what? However that I am, somebody also finds me there. Once I know somebody else finds me attractive, it's enough. Harriet, Amy, sir, Lord. So are now Aquile. Get rid of crying. God bless all of you. Please, stop looking down upon yourself because of your circumstances. Stop looking down upon yourself because of your circumstances. Stop looking at your circumstances to judge yourself as nothing. Josephine Indongo. God bless you, Indongo. Sometimes you look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself, I am very beautiful. Sometimes you look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself, I'm very handsome. Yeah. Somebody might look down upon you and treat you like trash. But that trash... You are exactly what somebody else is praying and waiting for. That they will leave you. They will leave that trash for them to call a testimony. So please, Doris, I see you. Welcome. Don't allow circumstances, immediate struggles to ever define as to what God can do for you. Don't give up on yourself. Don't don't give up on yourself. Sometimes you look at yourself, you look at all you've been through, and the devil tells you, you know, you have failed, 
all your friends are married. You know when, when you begin to look at all your friends, then that will keep telling all your friends are this and you rush. Do you know 99% of it you make mistakes? When you begin to look at people that have gone ahead, you, then you know what you do? You begin to uh, accept circumstances that you're not supposed to accept. Hold your breath. Hold your breath. Your miracle is on the way. Hold your breath. Wherever you are, it's only a matter of time. Whatever you are, whatever you're going through, it's only a matter of time. Please, if you're watching, you can follow me on Instagram, though. On Instagram, my page is Bishop Adontem Boatin, just like you see the name on the screen. Please, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, too. Bishop Adontem Boatin. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. All is bad. But as bad as all can be. Like the Bible says in Job 14 verse 7. At least you have life. At least I have life. I remember not too long ago when I started ministry. People only saw weakness in me. People only saw negative in me. But today when I look back, all the people who saw weakness and negative in me, the Lord has lifted me so high. They are trying for their hands to reach me. But where I am now, Ordinary hands cannot reach. Why? Because I didn't give up. They said I was good for nothing. They, saw I was, they said I was good for nothing. But I did not give up. My hope was not in man. But my hope was in Jesus. Sometimes what they are saying might be true. But the fact that what they are saying might be true doesn't conclude the story because yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's true. But the conclusion of the story, you don't know. Please. Their story is bad. Your story is bad. Don't give up. Don't give up. Sometimes what they say might be true. You are this. You have done this. And you are this. And I know you here. And you've been here. All might be true. But it doesn't conclude the story. So if your enemies don't know the conclusion of the story, but only your God knows, close your ears from them. Shut them out of your life. Stop wasting your time trying to get people to understand you. Stop trying to get people to believe in you. Your work will make people believe in you. The end story, they will understand. What they don't understand today, you're trying to explain. Don't waste your time trying to do that. At the end, they will understand where God was taking you. So when Jesus died, and they trashed him, and they started insulting him on the cross of Calvary, saying now he's finished, he's ended. On the third day, he arose again. I believe all his enemies will now understand. Oh my God. Now I know this man is indeed the son of God. You're finished. Your last chapter will tell the plans of God for you. Don't waste your time trying to get people who hate you to understand you. God bless you, Papa. Stop wasting your time trying to get people who hate you People who cannot stand you. People who don't like you. Don't waste your time trying to get them to understand you. Let evil be evil. And let them continue to be evil. Let wicked be wicked. And let them continue to be wicked. But you know what? Keep your mind positive. Keep your heart pure. Keep your mind clean. 
Continue to do the good you do and close your ears from the works of the wicked. The Bible says in Nehemiah 4, Grace Mensa, Grace, God bless you. Grace is not you. Grace Mensa, if you are Grace, go to Nehemiah 4. Nehemiah 4, start from verse 1. Nehemiah 4 verse 1. Mami Zawa, God bless you. I read that for me. Nehemiah 4 verse 1. Mm -hmm. When Sambalat heard that we were rebuilding the wall. God bless you. When Sambalat heard that my broken life, my shameful life, my insulted life is being rebuilt. Do you know it's not everybody that is happy that things are going to look better for you? Deborah Betty, God bless you. Mommy Zewa, God bless you. Do you know it's not everybody that is happy that you're no longer going to cry anymore? Do you know it's not everybody that is, that is happy that things are going to be better for you? Huh? Stop wasting your time trying to get people to understand you. When the story is finished and the Lord is bless you, they will understand. Whether the soup I'm cooking is palm nut soup, peanut soup, light soup, pepper soup. When I finish, you will understand what kind of soup I'm cooking. Whether the soup you're cooking of life is pepper soup, palm nut soup, uh, peanut butter soup, or goat meat soup, or fish soup. You can only tell when the soup is finished. Even Aloti, my daughter, God bless you. But until the soup is finished cooking, the people that are talking, stop wasting your time trying to get them to understand, to believe, or to accept that you're cooking pepper soup. Wabayao. God bless you. And when you are cooking a soup and people are talking about a soup and they are not the people going to eat the soup, you don't need to tell them what kind of soup you are cooking. When you are cooking a soup and people are talking about the soup but they are not the people going to eat the soup, please stop wasting your time trying to explain, trying to justify, trying to let them understand why you are cooking pepper soup. Peanut butter soup, palm nut butter soup, okra soup. No, it is not necessary. But when it's finished, if it's okra soup, they will see the pecan, the sticky. If it's peanut butter soup, they will smell it. If it's pepper soup, they will see the faces that this is pepper soup. Stop trying to waste time to get people who hate you to understand you. If anybody hates you, they have nothing good to say about you. Only evil. After God is finished, when God resurrected Jesus from death. Now, the Romans and the Jewish people who were fighting and saying all manners of things. When Jesus arose on the third day, now they understood, oh my God. Oh, so this man always, he was the son of God. Please. Your soup is still on the fire. Stop trying to explain to people who don't love you. When people don't like you, no matter what you do for them, they will find something negative to demise you, to paint you black, or to say something negative about you. Miss Boedi, my daughter, welcome. If people don't like you, I repeat, no matter how good, no matter how sweet, no matter how loving you can be for them, if people don't like you or they hate you, mama, give them money. They will find every reason to say your money is evil. Give them food. They will tell people you are trying to poison them. Give them love. They will tell somebody you are just trying to sleep with them. Give them everything you can give. If they don't like you, if they don't love you, as much as you struggle and you fight to make them comfortable, all that they can say about you is just negative. Negative and negative. Stop wasting your time trying to get people to accept you. Dwellers Regals, God bless you. 
God bless you. Stop wasting your time trying to get people to accept you. Stop wasting your time trying to get people to love you. Stop wasting your time trying to get people to love you. Stop wasting your time trying to get people to accept you. I, I repeat, stop wasting your time trying to get people to accept you. Just continue to do the good you can do. You might never know. As I said earlier on, today, I was at a television station. I was being interviewed. I was being interviewed about a police event we started in America. Oh my God. My dear, if I should tell you how I felt after the interview, and I look back from the days when I used to be a beggar, a beggar's son, I realized that God is faithful. If I had listened, if I had listened to those who said I'm a loser, I'm a failure, I would have given up on myself. Because all that they know about me is that I'm a, I'm a beggar's son. I'm a poor woman's son. Irma Jean Francis Varisti. I can tell you are from Haiti. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Don't let your circumstances, your bad challenges define you. Okay? Yeah, I understand you've made some mistakes. Yeah, I've, I've made several mistakes too. Grace Mensa, God bless you. Don't give up on yourself. If you feel you made a mistake, you know what the smartest people in life, when they realize they make mistakes, they don't repeat them. If they repeat them, they fight to make corrections for the mistake. So if you feel you've made a mistake, you nobody should judge you because you made it. I don't understand some African people. They can only talk about your mistakes and your wrong. Not even the good side. Hey! God is not even look at What they are talking about, God doesn't even look at it. What they are talking about, God does not even look at it. They say you are a thief. I thank God you are no longer a thief. They say you are a womanizer. I thank God you are no longer a womanizer. They say you are a prostitute. You are a hoe. You have heard that before. Every woman that is not a virgin is also a hoe. So a hoe is a hoe. Ho, ho, ho. But you know what? I thank God for your life that you are full of content. You are full of substance. Not the negative things they see about you. The Bible said I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. They, he said I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. Leave the devil alone talking about your past and every wrong you have done, they will never talk about any good. They will talk about wrong and wrong and wrong and wrong and wrong and wrong. Please, see my life with content, not your perception. See my life with content, the good I have done. Not your perception. People can use their perception to define you. I believe he's a colleague. The way he dresses, I believe he has so many girlfriends. Yeah, I love to dress because the day I die, I know I'm done. But until I die, I will continue to look. Does he have to do anything with women? Uh, that is your judgment. That's your opinion. Please, don't allow the opinion of people to define you. The day you die, your judgment is before no man. Your judgment is before God. Struggle and make the best out of you. And always learn one thing. Always learn to confuse your enemies. Always work as hard as you can to confuse, perplex, perplex, confuse and confound your enemies. 
People are only evil and they can be evil. People are evil and they can only be evil. Stop wasting your time trying to get people to love you. Stop wasting your time trying to get people to love you. Mama, Papa, Nikwe, your family might not love you, but I, Bishop, I don't think what I think. I do love you. The fact that Nikwe have told you I love you, anybody who hates you, garbage. Nikwe, somebody might see you and say, I saw this guy, this guy called, I, I've heard a lot about this guy, Nikwe. When I met him, he's nobody. Nikwe, they are saying they are nobody. That is their perception. But I, Bishop Kofi Adontembwa thing, as I sit here, Nikwe, you are the most handsome man I've seen in the whole world. It's your perception. It's your acceptance. God bless you. God bless you. Please, work as hard as you can to confuse your enemies. Work as hard as you can to confuse your enemies. Confuse them. Confuse. I beg you, please, mama, I beg you, please. I know they are watching. Your enemies are watching. They are waiting. You know what? When you, the moment you, the, you listen to the Bible, the Bible said, he prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. So when you see your enemies are waiting and they are waiting for a bad news, mama, that they dress as if you are going to the White House. Upon Harriet, Erika Sarinyaku, God bless you. Lift up your head and never ever pay. Grace, take the Bible to Psalm 3. Psalm 3, start from verse 2 to 3. The book of Psalm 3, verse 2 and 3. Hurry up. Psalm, Psalm 3, verse 2 and 3. Read the scriptures for me. Let me tell somebody something. Psalm 3, verse 2 to 3. Mm-hmm. Many are saying of me, God will not deliver him. Oh! But you, Lord, are a shield around me. Hold on, my daughter, go back again. Many are saying what? Many are saying of me, God will not deliver him. May God punish your enemies for Amen. you. Amen. May God punish your enemies for you. Amen. Elizabeth Dapa, God bless you. Any devil, any demon, any witch. That is fighting that you will never see salvation. You will never see deliverance. May God punish them in the name of Jesus. Read that again. Many are saying of me, God will not deliver him. Mm -hmm. But you, Lord, are a shield around me. But you, Lord, in my circumstance, in my shame, in my trouble, in my falling, in my tears, in my broken heart, you are my what? My shield around me. Continue. My glory, the one who lifts my head high. When you are you me three pages for you are the Lord who lift my head high. You are the Lord who lift my head high. Millicent, I'm watching. God bless you. Many are saying, Lord, I am stuck. Many are saying, Lord, I am done. Many are saying, Lord, he is finished. Nothing more. <coughs> but oh, you, Lord, you are the lifter. You are the lifter. You are the lifter of my head. This is enough. When you know, through your challenge and your most difficult moment, God is the lifter of your head. Yo, 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 yo. Dear, don't give up. When you know that, oh, you Lord, you are the lifter of my head. No matter how low I go, no matter what they say, no matter what they gossip about, no matter what they talk about, when you know God is the lifter of your head, please, now lift up your head towards the mountains. Tell me where your help is coming from. Nana Arafat. God bless you. Tell me where your help is coming from. If God is the lifter of your herd, tell me where your help is coming from. Your help doesn't come from man. 
Your help doesn't come from anybody. Your help cometh from the Lord. If no man is the lifter of your head, but your help is coming from the Lord. Tell me one more time. Why do you have to waste your time to get anybody to accept you? Please, kindly, please, from today, always work to confuse your enemies. Always work as hard as you can. To Somebody says, you people, you're always dancing at church as if you have no power. I say, yeah, we got no problem. You know why we're always dancing? Not because we're human. Every human has a problem. But we have hope. We have hope. We are people of faith. We have hope that as low as life can take us, a day is coming. The Lord that is our lifter of head, he will set the table before us in the presence of... Uh, watching God bless you Angel rule Angel rule Please the uh, the following pictures you are about to watch today by the grace of God I was invited to one of the biggest TV stations here in America. You know what? Uh, the video is not yet out. The interview they had with me is not yet out. But as you're listening to this song from Ghana, please, don't hang up. Don't put it down. Watch the pictures. A big interview is coming. It's coming to you, even in Africa. It's coming everywhere. God bless you. Please, watch these pictures. This is just today, though. I was in in a television studio being interviewed. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Mr. Robert Sakwa Thompson. Angel Roo, please, if you're watching, can you please share the video? In case you're confused, this is myself today, sitting at the studios, ready to be interviewed. I think the room you see there is called the green room. Nico told me that it's a green room. Hallelujah. All the way from Kwadaso. Angel Rule, God bless you once again. Please, can you share this video, please?
please can you share the video and confuse them one more time please confuse them one more time angel rule from seattle god bless you angel ramaka harris Eva Dixon, Sandra Koto, please can you share the video please, Elijah Boninikwe, God bless you for all the work you do, my wonderful daughter is here, Grace Sapon, mommy said, well, I can't wait to see you in London. Madam Loveless Writer. Mama Lizzie, God bless you. The devil is on the run, yo. Monica Jemfua. In case you're confused, this song is a Ghanaian song. You are watching. This is Bishop Kofi Adon Tembwaten, all the way in the United States of America, Virginia. Why you're not sharing the video? Please share the video, please. And I'm a boy in the house. Bas your wusu. Elom Ametepe. God bless you. The devil is in trouble. The devil is in trouble. I said the devil is in trouble. Mami Abana said far out from us in the house. I don't hear you. I don't see. I said the devil is in trouble. <laughs> Madam Agato Wusu, God bless you, my daughter. You don't feel the devil will be in the but the devil is in trouble right now. Please, can you share the video? Oh my god, I'm in high spirit. Emma John, God bless you. Grace Max. Hey. Madam Winifred Ditchem. Mana Winifred Ditchem. A 
my shine. God bless you. If on our day, the devil is in trouble. Mami Millicent, I'm watching. Grace Max, I love you back. Mr. Richard Dando. You don't understand this song, it means that things will be better. And Yama Ebesin son. Yama Bessisa. Oh, I feel well. I am a Bessisa. Yama Bessisa. Yes, you see, I see there. Yama Bessisa. Can I tell you something? Things will not remain as it is forever. Grace. Check the Bible one more time and go to Psalm 3, verse 2 and 3. What thing? Loretta King, God bless you, Loretta. You ready? Read the Bible for me. Psalm 3, verse 2 and 3. Psalm 3, verse 2 and 3. Many are saying of me, God will not deliver him. Many are saying of me, God. In his pain, in her shame, in her trouble, that God will never, ever, ever deliver you. Can I tell you something? Mm -hmm. The devil is lying again. Yes. The devil, the devil has always lied. Many are saying of me that God will not deliver him. Mami Koko, God bless you. God will never save him. God will not heal him. God will not deliver him. Many are saying, many, many people are saying, he is stuck. He got nowhere else to go. He is finished. His back is against the wall. He has fallen. Many are saying that I am done. I am out. What are they saying about you? What are the masses saying about you? What are the masses saying about you? She will surely be shipped to Ghana. She is at the hospital. I believe she will die very soon. He has immigration problem. I believe that he is finished. Have you heard? Something is about to happen in his life. Can I tell you something, child of God? Yes. Can I tell you something very deep? When people that are devilish, who feel they are palm readers, and so they can see things. And they know things. When they are prescribing. And they are diagnosing. And writing all the prescriptions. Can I tell you something? When they are talking. And they are talking as if they are the first and the last. As if they know it all. As if they got it all. And people are talking and talking and talking and talking. Some people talk too much. Some people, they just talk too much. They heard a little about your story and they will talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. And they will try to explain. They will mention names, mention dates, trying to explain to justify why you are done, you are finished. You, God is finished with you. Honorable or sensible, God bless you. People talk, they talk, talk and talk and talk and talk as if the day you were born, they were there. Some people can talk as if they even sleep between the same bedroom, 
but they don't even know your door, the color of your door. But they will talk as if they sleep with you in the same bedroom. Some people can talk and talk and talk as if the underwear you are wearing, they know. And pretend as if they are prophets so they know you are wearing a red underwear. When tonight, you only wore a white one. But sometimes, you don't need to explain to them that it's not red, it's white. Please, keep quiet and stop trying to explain to them. They are saying you are wearing a red pant and you know it's white. Leave them alone. Can I tell you something? Stop wasting your time trying to justify yourself to fools. Stop trying to explain yourself to fools. Stop trying to explain yourself to fools. Your business is your own business. Your business is your own business. Let them talk. Let them hate you. People who hate you, you can do nothing for them and they will change about you. If people really hate you, the, nothing you will do will make them love you because they hate you, they hate you. They hate you. If you hate me, it's your own business. But the only thing is that if I know you hate me, get ready. I will get So many people, they block me from their Facebook because I was confusing them. They said Bishop is down. But they saw me in an helicopter. They said Bishop is down. They saw me in the first class. Sometimes the first class, I only beg the pilot to sit there for two minutes. But I confused them. When they couldn't understand, they had to delete me from their Facebook because I was giving them high blood pressure. Please learn to confuse your enemies. Stop talking. Stop trying to explain things to them. Stop trying to justify. Let them talk. Bible said in Psalm 3, he said, he said my, 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 many are saying, let them talk. This is an old, I know that I can't say them. Let them talk. Let them talk. But you know one thing, you strategically confuse them. You strategically confuse them. Don't, you are not the only one going through stuff. Stop looking depressed. Stop looking depressed. Stop looking down. Confuse them. Confuse them. Please, continue to confuse your enemies. The Bible says many are saying, God will not save him. Yo, is that your business? Read that again, my daughter. Psalm 3, verse 2 and 3. Many are saying of me, God will not deliver him. But you, Lord, are a shield around me. My glory, the one who lifts my head high. Everybody wanted me to repeat that form. Lord, you are my glory. You are my honor. Not my enemy's glory. Not my enemy's favor. But you are the one who lifts up my head high. Let them talk. Stop wasting your time trying to get people who, yo, you don't love me, it's your business. Some people, after all the hate, some people just love me. Those who love me, I will do what is necessary to make them love me more. But if I know you hate me, I ain't gonna wait, I ain't gonna waste my time trying to speak any language to you for you to love me. No, I got no time. I got no time. I gotta, I gotta do what I gotta do. You know what I mean? Melinda Osayakutu. Melinda, God bless you. Ere Kwadanso, God bless you. Rosemary Jao, God bless you. Stop wasting your time trying to get people to love you. You are too special. You are too special to waste your time to get anybody to love you. Why? Life is short. You know one thing? Today I was telling my children, life is very short. Don't waste your time for any fool. Your life is very short. Please enjoy every little bit of it. It is your God, my God, our God, who is the lifter of our head. You're too special to waste your time over people that are full of hate. You are too special to waste your time over people that are full of hate. You can fall, you can have issues. You can have troubles, but the fact that you have issues, you have trouble, doesn't define that that's where you're going to be. The downfall of a man, the downfall of a man is not the end of his life. 
Mami said, wow. God bless you that you're not sleeping. The downfall of a man is not the end of his life. The downfall of a man is not the end of his life. Aye? <laughs> Drill, you need to hear this. God sent me directly to tell you, Wake up, wake up, stop giving up on yourself, shake yourself up. There, it was raining, it's no longer raining. Get up, get up, it's not over. Keep fighting. <laughs> Please, if you're watching, can you share this video? Please. It is not the end. Pick up the pieces and run with it. Your latter days will be better than your former days. Your latter days will be better than for the former days. Not me, not your enemies, not your mother, not your father, but the Lord your God. He is the lifter of your head. Your glory belongs to Jesus. Ooh. I love you back. I love you back. I love you back. Encourage yourself in the Lord, alright? <laughs> But you have four jobs at me every day. The body kai, hey you move. You're not so so. I don't see about five. You're not so me a sad yet. Who the best? To jam at me, ya ya ya. Me me ah, me am a better sawat. Every boy I do know, and me am a better man. Mami boy, grab. Vivian Mawili Galo. Vivian Mawili Galo. Welcome, God bless you, Vivian. Yeah, 
The song I was just playing said it's not going to be like this forever. Things are going to be better. Aye? Right? And always know whatever they are talking about, saying about you, it doesn't tell the whole story. Yeah. And what they might be saying might be true. But the fact that what they are saying is true does not also tell the whole story. Your whole story belongs to God. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. God is the altar and the finisher of our faith. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Don't stop. I said keep fighting. Keep pushing on. Keep pressing on. Just do what you got to do. Don't listen to anybody. Don't listen to, yes, I know. I know your mistakes are so bad. You have done this and, ah, my God. If I, if I throw mine on the screen, I will stop this and run away. Every human being. The only human being who lived and lived so clean was Jesus. But otherwise, someone like me, I am a filthy, dirty, nasty rag. But you know what? As nasty and filthy as I am, God wants me the same way. So why do, I have to, why do I have to rush to go take a shower when my God has already accepted me as I am? But you know what? Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself and keep fighting. Believe in yourself and keep fighting. Fight on. Fight on and don't give up. Don't listen to any devil. Don't listen to any witch who can only say negative things about you. Who can only say bad things about you. You can be the most handsome man. They will say you are handsome because you are full of women. You can be the most beautiful woman. They will say he is beautiful because there is too many men in your life. They, you, you can be as rich and bless. They will never talk about how God has blessed you. They will say you are a voodoo or you are occultic or illuminati. Nonsense. Fools. Don't listen to fools, please. Do not listen to fools, please. Do not listen to fools. But you know what I want to tell you? Continue to confuse your enemies all the days of your life. Please, continue to confuse your enemies all the days of your life. Your miracle is downloading. Your breakthrough is downloading. Mami Abena is far from God bless you. Mani wini Freddy Chum. Elijah Boni Nikwe, God bless you. Grace Sapon, God bless you. Mama Lizzie, God bless you. 
Please, if you are in London, the last week of this month, uh, I will be in the United Kingdom. I will, there will be there's a program that I will be attending. Stay tuned. <laughs> Sapon, God bless you. Grace Max. Grace Max. Grace Max. love you back. Sandra Kotum. Mami Sewa. Mama Winnie Freddy Chum. Mama Lizzie, God bless you. Yes, Lady Rama, don't think what you God bless you too. You can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram. Bishop Adonti Boate. This is Bishop Adonti Boate. I feel now so I worry, Bernard Swebu Boba. It's exactly 6 30 New York time, Eastern time. My time is up. Hey, before I go, I want to remind you that tomorrow, 4 30, I'll be here. But I love you. 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 I love I love you. This is Bishop Aron Tibati. Good night. I will see you at church tonight. God bless you. Love you. Eunice Mami Boatima Akati Apia. Bishop Benitio, the song uh, was sung by Patience Nyako. And it is entitled Ebuboba. In French, I will spell Ebuboba is Ebebeboboba. It is on YouTube. You can find it there, Papa. God bless you. Eunice, Mami, Boatima, Akatia, Pia. Eunice, God bless you. Arabai, Miss, I love you, bro. Mami, say, well, I love that night, night. Hey, you dear, you dear, not romantic. Night, night. God bless you. I love you, dear. God bless you. I love you. Good night.
for your commendable and dedicated service to the Fairfax County, Prince William County, and the Alexandria County, Virginia, for handling each emergency with uncompromised confidence and integrity, for using courage and compassion, and for providing such a meaningful service to us all. No duty is more urgent than that of returning thanks. That is why Divine World Ministry and the Faith Community is organizing our annual Faithful Servant Award on the 26th of October, 2019. The venue is Hilton Hotel on 5000 Seminary Road, Alexandria, Virginia, and the time is at 7 p.m. We thank you for your devotion, dedication, and hard work. You are an important part of our community. You and your colleagues are truly among America's finest, and we are proud of you. We salute you.